Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with today's video. And come on. Yeah. It's raining. I had completely forgotten it was raining. You know what? I'm going to keep this in here. Anyway, guys, what's up, Agent Zero here? Welcome back to some more Behind Locked Doors. Now, if you guys remember last episode, um, we actually started work on level 5 of Lazy Lovers, which is actually done at this point. I ended up changing out some of the blocks in that level, so the, but the um, blocks that the lovers are on are actually... Uh, different colors. So if I go ahead and quickly pop down into here, I don't know if I showed you guys this last episode or not, but I, I'll have to look at. So I've changed out the color of the blocks that the uh, lovers are on. I don't know if that makes too big of a difference for to you guys, but this. But I've got all the circuitry for this level already wired up. I'll go ahead and show you guys the circuitry. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be able to deduce any spoilers or anything uh, on this level because the redstone here is really compact it's a bit complicated some of you might know what's going on some of you might not I don't know but this is basically all the circuitry for level 5 and so basically once um, all three if you guys don't remember what uh, level 5 lazy lovers is basically you're using a uh, customizable Pulse levers, which is a lever that uh, creates a short pulse rather than a constant on or off signal. And this is all the redstone. So as soon as one of these lamps is on, it's going to end up triggering the uh, this AND gate, which is going to trigger this dropper into the chest. When something's in this uh, chest, it's going to power on this lamp. If both of the lamps are on, then the door is open. So yeah, that's basically how this works. It's just mirror image of each other. However, this time we're not actually going to be focusing on level 5 because level 5 we have now completed. I can go ahead and check that off the list. So I've already got the example room set up for level 6. And level 6 is called Frame Falling. Let me go ahead and read this off to you guys. Have you ever played a classic room escape game? Well, this level is effectively the same thing. Search the room for hidden numbers. Each number corresponds to mm, a direction on one of the item frames rotating to all the item frames to the correct positions to unlock the door. Now, if you guys watched my previous uh, redstone tutorial, the uh, item frame lock, you already know what's going on in this level. Or at least you have a good idea. So, going clockwise, the numbers are in sequence from 1 to 8. 1 is in top right, 2 is right, and so on to 8, which is up. Only one direction per item frame will be correct. And did the rain stop? I think the rain did stop. It does look like it. So as you can tell, this is this is just basically the example because otherwise I won't be making the example room. So if I go ahead and rotate this over to this direction, our lamp turns on. As you can tell, it was not on um, previously. So if I go ahead and rotate one more, the lamp turns off. So if I rotate back around to this spot right here it turns back on and that okay so I'm kind of exaggerating as to what's going on here but anyway let's go ahead and get started with this level now I do not have anything on this level built as of yet but I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now that the basis of what this level is going to be um, if, as I gave in the example room it asks about ba I basic, well I don't know if it said basic, it asks about a classic uh, room escape game and that's effectively what this is going to be. So if you don't know what that means, um, a base classic room escape game which I absolutely love, there's actually one particular developer of which I always follow when it comes to these. I've played every single one of their games so far, but anyway, basically you're in this uh, uh, room it's basically point and click in uh, in this case or I guess in the case of mobile gaming it's 
point and it's basically touch I actually I don't know how to describe it but anyway you're going through each of these rooms and you're trying to figure out uh, the how to unlock the door so you'll be able to uh, leave and go on to the next level so there are different kinds of puzzles that you have to solve in order to reach an end goal of opening the door to the next level and that's what this level is all going to be about now i'm considering whether or not i actually want the room to be this big i think i'm gonna leave it uh at this size um hold on a moment guys give me a moment i'm gonna go ahead and build the actual room i'm not gonna let you guys watch that that's gonna be really boring Okay, a little bit of a progress update, so I'm not going to make this room just a giant square like all the rest of the rooms are. I want to make this um, a bit of an odd shape, and the reason being is that on basic room escape games, the rooms aren't actually exactly uh, set up as, um, as perfect squares, although... A majority of the time that is actually the case. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how do I want to go about doing this. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting the... I am frame lock right here, okay? And actually, you know what? Let me go over here. So, there's actually a tutorial uh, on YouTube that I came across a while back on how to create a pulse lever, actually, sorry, not a pulse lever, a, um, an item frame detector uh, combination lock, whatever, it's technically called the item frame combination lock, but basically the video that I ended up finding was how to make each individual um, module for each circuit one wide. Now I think I may actually do a tutorial on how to do this, but I, I have to at least give credit to the person who ended up making the original because uh, it's very useful, makes things a lot easier to put together. And you know what? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and extend this out by one more. So I don't know whether or not I'm going to focus on getting the actual circuitry built on camera because... Grant, you guys have an understanding at this point if you guys actually end up watching that video. I don't know how many um I don't know how many of you actually completely remember it. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to my video on the actual pulse lever ex I mean um uh, am frame lock itself. So let me quickly pull out an iron door. So if I put the iron door here, okay, and so I go ahead and put blocks around it, one, two, and then three, and so then this is where our item frame lock is going to go, so I think what I'm going to do, hold on, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some stained clay, if I go ahead and grab red, yellow, no, I forgot. I need to switch my hotbar uh, uh, position. Yellow, lime, and blue, because lime's just effectively going to be green. So I'm going to do this one, two, three, four, and then the item frames are going to end up going here, which I haven't grabbed just yet. I'm um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. It, it's not necessary for right now. So, this is where it's going to end up going. And so, this, this is exactly where all the uh, uh, item frames are going to go. Now, the reason why I'm color coding each of these. Um, hold on, let me get a sign out. So, using a special character on a keyboard you're actually able to create colored text. 
So if I quickly go into here, if my keyboard would load, thank you. Um, my keyboard actually has a uh, hotbar uh, feature built into it. I think it's the only one that does. Um, but anyway, I have this symbol right here. Now, if you're not using this specific keyboard, which I don't know if you guys use, then there's actually going to be a little bit of a um, way to access uh, this symbol. I don't exactly remember what it is. I'd have to look it up, but I have this symbol right here. And if I go ahead and type in either a number or a certain amount of letters, as you can see, I typed the one in and it changed to a uh, blue cast. If I type in five, it creates a little bit of a uh, pink cast. So now if I go ahead and start typing, as you can tell, the, uh, the actual uh, color of the text has changed. Now the reason why this is important, and I did not mean to destroy the block, the reason why this is important, because I'm going to be setting up like furniture and stuff um, on, this, on this level, and on the furniture in certain places are going to be these signs. And what's going to end up happening is these signs are going to uh, contain a number, and that number is going to be a color that corresponds to one of these four. I am not going to spoil any of these numbers because I don't feel like that's necessary for this for the series. So when you guys actually do end up playing this level, you'll understand what I'm getting at. So I'm going to have these hidden throughout the level, and you're going to have to figure out where they are. So let me go ahead and finish putting together the rest of these walls. And then I'll meet you guys back here when I'm done. All right, so while I was uh, building these walls, I went ahead and built this right here. This is the little tunnel that I've put between each and every level. Really no reason to show you guys what this is because it's not important. But anyway, I've got the basic room done. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe I might end up changing this a little bit. I don't know as of yet. But... This being a replication of a basic uh, room escape games, there's going to end up being furniture um, in this room, which I suppose I could do. Yeah, I'm going to end up changing a little bit of this um, these walls. I'm not going to change too much. But yeah, I'm going to change a little bit of this, so give me a moment. Alright, so figuring out how I want to do this level is a bit difficult, but I think I have it figured out this time. So, actually, you know what? I may change the size of this. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I'm going to do this. So basically what this is going to be right here is like a closet. This is just going to be like a basic closet. Which it would be more believable to be a closet if I could have like an armor stand or something. So suppose what I can do. If I go ahead and pull like a slab or something. Hmm. Oh, the slabs are down here. I'm an idiot. Of course, when is that new? So I could put like a sign in here. So I suppose what I can do, let me go ahead and pull out like an item frame. And I'm going to pull out, actually it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out like a leather cap. I'm going to put that on the wall right here I guess and put the leather cap here now this one is not going to end up um, now this one is not going to end up 
having redstone connected to it. I'm just doing it for aesthetics. Um, so what I'm thinking I could do. Hold on, I just had an idea. Maybe like right here we could have a television and then we have a uh, some stairs for couch. Actually, what would look good for couch? I suppose what I could do is use quartz stairs for a couch. So I'm going to go ahead and put down one, two, three, one, two, three. Something like this, yeah. Actually, one thinking. Let's move it directly next to the wall. And then if I were to grab a painting, just a regular painting, maybe I can get a painting that'll fit this thing, no? This is going to take some time of, to do, so give me a moment, guys. Yeah, I can't seem to uh, get the one I'm looking for for whatever reason. And I actually ended up having to change the size of the TV. Because if I remember right, there's actually one particular painting of which is actually really large that would span this entire wall, I'm pretty sure. Unless I have to start placing it down over here, maybe? I don't know. If I can't find the one I'm looking for, I may just resort to going for one of those size paintings. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm trying to think of ways to make this place look nice. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to save it and do one of those larger paintings. I don't think I'm going to be able to find the one I'm looking for. If I put this up against the wall. Yeah, this will look good. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something that will actually look actually good. You know what? I'll take that. That's fine. And then what I can do from here is I could go ahead and, um, oh yeah, stairs are right here, aren't they? Um, let's go ahead and use this, why not? Put that facing this way. And then, and then face them this way. If I can, maybe, oh, I suppose what I could do is do this, and then place them this way. Yeah, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and put a regular block down right here, and now I should be able to place this there. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. So I'm just trying to make this thing look, uh, I'm trying to make this thing look pleasing. I'm trying to make this look like it's a, a legitimate, like, house or something. So if I go ahead and put down, can I go ahead and put down the couch, like, right here? And put a couch like this. Or you know what? What I could do is do this, and then I could put a sign, if I go ahead and do this, and then put this right here. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. I like that. I like the way that looks. 
Now, where am I going? Now, I am going to end up hiding these, um, these signs, obviously. So this is at least aesthetically supposed to be a closet, I suppose. Um, yeah, so we've got ourselves a TV right here. We've got ourselves a closet. You know, what's something I'm thinking that I could possibly do? Which I don't know whether or not I'm actually capable of doing. Hold on, let me see. Can I actually do this? Put, can I put a bed like right here and put it on top? No, I can't. Can I do this and put down a bed here? Break these two blocks and do this. Yes, I can. Yes, I can do that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I suppose what I could do... Let me grab some jungle. No, that's not jungle. That's spruce. This is... No, that's acacia. Do we not... There we go. So if I do this... And... I put down ladders down like this for a bunk bed. No, that's a sign. I need ladders. There. That should be good. And then if I were to put up... Yeah, let's go ahead and put up signs up here. Actually, no, I'm not going to put down signs anywhere on this build because I want to hide these signs. Actually, no, what I could do, I can go ahead and do this. These are like railings. No, I don't want to put one there. There. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, maybe instead of right here. Let me go ahead and tear this down. Instead, what I suppose I could do is do this so it's up against the wall. Yeah, this will be fine. Can I please thank you? And then I go ahead and put back down these jungle planks. This episode's end up going to be longer than I initially intended. Of course, then again, I don't usually make these episodes very long. You know, I actually kind of liked it better when it was uh, where it originally was. And why those beds dropped instead of just being destroyed, I don't know. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, do this. Get rid of that. And do that. And then go ahead and put down... I'm, I'm, I'm being very undecisive. I know, guys. I know I'm being very undecisive here. Let's get the railing down just like this. Do I need to crouch to put them down? Yes. And so that should be good. Now what's one final thing that I could do? Actually not a final thing. Something I suppose I could do. I could put down like a desk like Right here. Maybe I made this room a little bit too big. I don't know. I'm going to try to um, make this look good. And then get some of the slabs. And do something like this. And one thing I have seen done before. Is a regular painting right here with a pr 
pressure plate for the keyboard and a mouse. So I can actually do this. If I put this here, no, I did not want to destroy that. Go ahead and pull this slab back out. Man, I'm just being so bad at this today. I don't know why, so let's go ahead and put this here. Yes, that'll work. And do this. You know what? I like that. Let's go ahead and change this out. Let's go ahead and put the jungle stairs, which are right here, and put that there. And then we're going to put down the chair right here. And then signs on the side of this chair as the arms. I'm, tr I'm just kind of ranting on about this, aren't I? Um, what about if I were to put like one block further? Yeah, let's put the chair here. And we can do this. And there we go. So we've made a little bit of progress here. Suppose one last thing I could possibly do to make this place look a little bit better. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Let's. Um, the one thing that I have seen done aesthetically, which I forget where it is, is a flower pot which is right here. Let's put this flower pot right here and that's our garbage can and there we go I think this is good and I want to do something a uh, more let me go ahead and put down some carpets and I can use the carpets as like a rug and I got rid of my other my white carpet yeah, so I suppose what I could do is go do like one, two, three, and then I use the, these white carpets go around it. Why can't I just stand and place them down? I'd like to say this should be good. I'm actually, you know what? I think I may alter this a little bit. Uh, in between episodes, but I think for right now, this is a good place to stop the episode off because I've been recording this for about half an hour now, and I think I need to close things off for today. So um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. And next, uh, by the time uh, next episode comes, I'll have more done on this level. I promise you guys that I'll have a lot more built into this, and I'll show you guys what that is. Anyway, thanks for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later.